Are you looking for free things to do in Madison, Wisconsin? Or as we sometimes like to say, free 99. <laughs> Finding fun <laughs> things to do in Madison that do not break the bank can be challenging for you and your family. So we've compiled a great list of the top 10 things to do in Madison, Wisconsin for free. Make sure to stick around to the end to hear our absolute favorite thing to do in Madison for free. Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, Living in Madison, Wisconsin. We are your guides to everything Madison, Wisconsin. I am Joe Marks. And I am Crystal Marks. And if you are wondering what it's like to live in Madison, Wisconsin, we make weekly videos. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell. All right, let's get to our list of the top 10 things to do in Madison for free. There's obviously a lot of variety with these things, so we're not ranking them 10 to 1. You guys would just have to decide for yourself which ones are your favorites. It's personal preference. Right. However, we did pick our favorite and put that at the end, so make sure you stick around for that. So here we go. Number one to kick off our list is Oldbrook Botanical Gardens. Nice. <laughs> yes. Hard to just say. Get it out there. <laughs> this is an outdoor garden featuring 16 acres of stunning landscapes and Midwest hardy plants. Mm -hmm. It is free and open daily, so that's the outdoor portion. Right. Yep. Stunning, beautiful, mm -hmm. the walk around. Mm -hmm. And then you can also visit the Tropical Bowls Conservancy, which is filled with exotic plants, orchids, free flying birds, if you can believe that, and a mm -hmm. waterfall. Yeah. And that is free, so this is a star here, that is free on Wednesday and Saturday mornings from 10 a.m. to noon. Other than that, it's a $6 admission for the indoor area yep. and free for members. Yeah, so they do have a yearly membership that you can get. It's pretty reasonable um, if you're going to consider yes. going there often. And the dead of winter? Yeah, get a membership. Get a it's membership. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you're in a tropical forest, rainforest. Right. All right, number two on our list is outdoor recreation. Madison is an amazing place for that. Yes. Uh, we have tons of biking trails, over 200 miles that go through the city. You can bike from end to end, basically staying on the trail the whole time. Yes. Uh, great roads outside of the city. Hiking, we have parks and trails all over the city for that. Lakes, we have over 15,000 acres of water sure in the do. area, so mm -hmm. all of your water sports, amazing for that. In the winter, we have awesome places for winter sports as well, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, lots of parks with ponds for ice, ice skating. skating. Lots of parks with hills for sledding. Mm -hmm. So lots of things to do outside for free here in Madison. Number three on our list is tour the state capitol building. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous and there are free tours daily. Mm -hmm. Sixth floor, if you go to the sixth floor, there's an observation deck, which is wonderful in the summer. Yeah, yeah, you can see the views of the lake, the whole city from up there. It's mm -hmm. the tallest building within a mile. So there's yes. amazing views from up there. Yes, and it has to be, right? There's yep. no other building that can right. trump the Capitol. Nope. Also something that we really love to do as a family is go to the Christmas tree event. Yeah. Where they light the Christmas tree. There's usually a beautiful orchestra playing and yep. Christmas carols and all sorts of really fun things. Yeah, so check out the Capitol State Building if you haven't yet. Mm -hmm. All right, number four on our list, one of our other favorites. It is. Is the yes. farmer's market. So. Mm -hmm. It, the main one is up at the square, which we just talked about. So maybe after you're done touring the Capitol. You have to do it. <laughs> yeah. You just have to right. do it. Yeah. It so, is a Madison thing to do. Yep. So vendors show up all the way around the Capitol. It is one of the biggest in the country, I think. Actually, it's the largest producer-only farmer's market in the U.S. So only the people awesome. that are there are the ones actually growing and producing the food. Mm -hmm. So that's amazing. It's every Saturday from April through November. Yep. And there are some winter options that they bring it inside mm -hmm. in the winter, too. Mm -hmm. So the Dane County Farmer's Market is a huge amazing thing to do and all the, the mission to all of them are free obviously you have to pay for the food but, yes. but it's just it's a really cool event just to be around people and, and go to so number five is the memorial union terrace which is on uw campus and mm -hmm. it overlooks the beautiful lake mendota yeah it's an awesome awesome lake it's one of the biggest ones in the area and the sunsets there are amazing breathtaking for sure yeah we love to also eat <laughs> We so, do. So we go there. Yeah, there. they have good food. <laughs> they, I think they have brats and all those sorts yeah, of things. All the we Wisconsin states. Oh yeah, cheese yeah. curds, fried cheese curds. Come on, beer. Yeah. And then we also love their ice cream. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Babcock Hall ice cream. It's amazing. Super good. Yeah. Not low fat. Definitely not. No. <laughs> super Wisconsin. good. It's real Wisconsin ice cream. Real Wisconsin <laughs> ice cream. Yes. So it's our favorite place to sit and listen and enjoy live music, mm -hmm. as well as just sitting in the sun in the summer. 
So we're halfway there, and we actually want to hear from you. If you don't live in Madison, what city do you live in? And what kind of free things do you guys have in your city to do that you really love? So we'd really love to hear what your favorite thing is to do for free in your city. So comment below. All right, number six on our list is museums. There's quite a few in Madison, but we're going to highlight just a few. The first one is the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art. Beautiful facility. Go in there, make sure you check that out. The next one is Wisconsin Historical Museum, mm -hmm. which is free on Saturdays specifically at 2 p.m. So it's, that one's not free all the time. So make sure you check that out on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one we wanted to highlight is Wisconsin Veterans Museum. It's, it covers the military history back from the Civil War all the way to the present. So that's a really Ooh, interesting yeah. museum to check out mm -hmm. too. So a lot of great museums in Madison that you can see for free. Number seven is Kids in the Rotunda, which is at the Overture Center for the Arts. Yeah, right close to downtown, right off the square. Yes, yep. lovely, lovely space. It is a variety of shows, music, storytellers, dancers, jugglers, magicians. You may have figured out that this is for families. Right. Yeah, wonderful to take your kids and... Not all of those things at the same time. No, no. it is... Each one week it's things. one of those things. Yeah, yeah. Right? Just to be clear. <laughs> it's not a variety yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> Cirque du Soleil for Madison, right? <laughs> right? And it is going to run every Saturday from October through April when things go south for right. weather here yeah. in the Madison area and you have kids that are locked up. It's yeah. a great thing to do in Madison. All right, number eight on our list is there's lots of great public libraries. So they've done a really good job here in Madison with their libraries. They have story times for the kids. They'll have other events, they'll hire musicians to come in and perform for the kids, they'll have movie showings sometimes. If your kids aren't necessarily going to the library to read, which we encourage, but there's lots of other <laughs> things for them to do at the Madison Libraries to keep them busy. Yeah, they're fantastic. Their story times are really great yeah, for yeah, their preschool kids. Right. Really yeah, good. Yeah. So check out the libraries. There's many around town as well as the suburbs that have awesome ones as well. Yeah, enjoy. Number nine on our list is the Dream Bank, which is created by American Family Insurance, quite a special space. Mm -hmm. They frequently have events to help you and your family discover your passions, dreams, and goals for your life. I have really enjoyed it as an entrepreneur because there's so many events to go to where you can learn more and grow yeah. in your trade. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, I mean, everything there is free. So yes. that's why it's obviously on the list. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. You can go and learn a ton from different presenters mm -hmm. that they have there, so. Mm -hmm. Like you can learn about social media, life coaching, you know, just things that will really help you all around. Yep, and specific events for the kids too. Yes, absolutely, yep. Yep. yeah. So check out the Dream Bank, it's really cool space. All right, the last one, number 10, which is our I favorite. I can't do a drum roll. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you've caught our other videos, you may have predicted what this one is, yes. but it is the Henry Vilas Zoo. So Madison is unique in that our zoo is free admission. And it does have, one of the other th reasons it's on the list is it does have a kid-specific zoo, which is really great. You can feed the goats there. They have an aardvark, they have a red panda, which is epic. Yes. Um, we love have, the red panda. Right, they also have a train and carousel that you can ride. Those things aren't free, but it's really awesome that they're there. Mm -hmm. Something to give the kids something else to do. Mm -hmm. Awesome food and treats throughout, uh, different spots throughout the zoo to get those. It's a pretty massive park, climbing park, like yeah. actual like. Yeah, like huge play structure for the kids. The animals, some of our highlights that we love there are the lions, the tiger, the polar bear. Polar bears. Yeah. They swim and it's so cute. Yeah, yeah, and they got visual underneath the water for you to see. A lot yeah. of them swimming is really cool. Really cool. Badgers, can mm -hmm. do a Wisconsin or Madison, Wisconsin video without highlighting the badgers that they have there. Right. The penguins are awesome. Our kids are love awesome. the penguins, yeah. yes. So so, so yeah, the zoo is awesome. It's free. They're always going to keep it free. That was like the stipulation with the family that donated the land. Right. That they would keep it free. So growing up here in Madison, I just thought that all zoos were free. I didn't <laughs> right. realize how, yeah. Yeah, you go to Milwaukee and you realize like, how much you have to pay to right, go there. Right, exactly. Yeah. So it is such a gift and a treat to Madison. Well, there you have it, our top 10 list of free things to do in Madison, Wisconsin. We hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And if you have any other questions about moving to living in Madison, Wisconsin, please reach out to me. Again, my name is Joe Marks. Here is my info. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. And Midwest hearty plants. I think I might be a Midwest party plant. <laughs>
<laughs> and it is a variety show with music, storytellers, jugglers, magicians, dancers. You might have guessed that this would be for families. <laughs> Not so, all of those at the same time. Oh. But, the, well, but that those. Would be, <laughs> <laughs> that would be a, a phenomenal show. <laughs> Epic. It's like Cirque du Soleil of Madison. <laughs>